Hi there, Librans. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at February 6 through February 12, the first full week of February, and it's a real heart starter, shall we say, with the planets basically filling up in fire and air signs, little, very little activity in earth and water signs. This week, Mercury, the planet of communication and clear thinking, moves into Aquarius, which gives it a much broader base to stand on its soapbox and, you know, talk about what's going on. There could be more gossip going on than usual and more interesting and quirky kind of stories coming out of the news and out of the celebrity world. We have Venus, your ruler, Mars, the planet of passion, and Uranus, the planet of the unexpected, lined up in Aries, your one-on-one -on -one relationship zone, your opposite sign. The Sun and Mercury in Aquarius, and we also have a full moon lunar eclipse in Leo, your 11th house of hopes, dreams, wishes, and friendship. And that's happening on Friday. Now, this is going to be an intense lunar eclipse if you know anyone i'm sure you do born under the sign of leo you know that they are intense and can be very dramatic the leo full moon lunar eclipse on friday february 10 is the first eclipse of the year and the forerunner of the biggest celestial event of 2017 the total solar eclipse on august 21st which is also in leo Although every full moon is a stop sign in the lunar month and it signals a time for things to come to fruition, this Leo full moon lunar eclipse is especially fortunate because both the sun and moon are blessed by compatible influences from lucky Jupiter, which of course is in your first house of ego and personality. As lucky as that may be, Lebruns, a lunar eclipse is still a time when emotional energy is at its highest point. For this reason, it's best not to schedule an activity or elective surgery or any major or life-changing events or decisions this week. Really try and hold off, whether you are having your teeth cleaned or you're about to put your home on the market or you're about to get a new flatmate or buy a new car. It's going to be high feverish emotional energy happening and it's really important that you don't allow yourself to get distracted by that and not do the right thing by yourself or somebody else or all of you. So it's a real powerhouse week. This might be one of those weeks that you look back on and think to yourself, wow, a lot did happen that week. So make sure you jot it down in your diary on February 10 that that lunar eclipse is going to be transiting your 11th house of hopes, dreams, wishes, and friendship. Have a wonderful week. Great speaking to you as always, and I'll speak to you again next week.